A very good day to you and welcome to the program. I'm sitting in the garden. I've been doing a bit of carving. I'm, I love carving sticks, walking sticks. This one I've already finished and I'm going to start another one. I've got my two little dogs here, long-legged, long-haired <laughs> Jack Russells. They're not very obedient, but I love them to bits. I want to speak to you today about standing still. Now, I'm speaking to you about this because it affects me. Folks, we need to slow down. We need to stand still. And we need to listen to God. If you go to 2 Chronicles chapter 20, uh, just one verse, and that is verse 17. This is what the Lord says to Jehoshaphat. You will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourselves. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord who is with you and, O oh, Judah and Jerusalem, do not fear or be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them for the Lord is with you. Folks, that's almost identical to Exodus chapter 14 and verses 13 and 14. Let's just go there. Just one verse. And this is when Joshua... Um, Moses was taking the, the Israelites out of Egypt. Exodus chapter 14 and just two verses, 13 and 14. I just love the word of God. I tell you what, it's like medicine in my soul. And Moses said to the people, do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see again no more forever. Verse 14, the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. You don't have to do anything. I want to tell you that the word stand is actually a verb. Okay? To stand still. You say, is that a noun? No, this table here, this stick, this is a noun. Okay? But to stand takes obedience. It's actually an active word to stand. Some of us, it's much easier to run than to stand. I'm one of them. I always want to fix something. I want to do something. The Lord says, no, Angus, stand. The battle is mine. I learned that very hard lesson when I lost my little nephew many years ago when he fell off the tractor that I was driving and I ran over his little body and, and, and killed him. And I didn't know what to do because I couldn't make it right, you see. And neither could anybody else. No one could help me. No one. My wife was such a, an angel. She pr protected me. She sat up with me at night. She loved me. But there's only one person who could help me. And his name was Jesus. And he said to me clearly in Ephesians chapter 6, Stand. Okay, the battle is mine. So I'm speaking to somebody now who's struggling in life. You don't know what to do. You don't know which way to turn. You don't know where to go. The Lord says to you today, my dear friend, stand, the battle is mine. You say, Angus, I don't know where the next mouthful of food's coming for my children. Angus, I've tried everywhere. I don't know where I'm going to get a job. The Lord says, stand. You've just come from the hospital and they've given you basically the death, the death warrant. They've said to you, they can do no more for you. It's a terminal case. Go home and die. Stand. The battle is the Lord's. I want to tell you, I believe in miracles. I have seen God literally raise the dead. Stand, the battle is the Lord's. So I don't know what it is that you're going through at the moment. Maybe it's a massive fight that you're going into. The Lord says, be of few words. Stand and I will fight for you. So until the next time on this program, remember, if Jesus is for you, there's no man that will stand against you. Goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.